Hey everyone, hope you're all well. So I'm finally sitting down and filming again for all of you guys. Um, and I decided because yesterday was the first day of spring here in New Zealand that I would film a spring inspired makeup look. Hence why I'm wearing a pink blouse. I've got pink nails and obviously a bright lip. So yeah, feeling really good that it's finally like winter's over and bring on spring summer. I used a whole lot of products that I've really been enjoying lately and uh, what else can I tell you? Um, just a little update about me. I've sort of been doing a few different sort of photo shoots with hair and makeup and that's been keeping me busy and also I'm planning my own wedding. Um, we have, Josh and I have set a date for October the 28th next year which is a Friday and we've booked our venue, um, booked a photographer and a florist so super excited that all the wedding plans are underway. Yeah, I've kind of been like trying to test out um, like things like waterproof mascara and I definitely want to find like the perfect base for my wedding day so if you guys have any suggestions yeah leave them in the comments if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching all right so to prime the skin I'm using this Smashbox photo finish primer water and just literally taking a bath in that and then to give the skin a real luminous finish I'm applying some of the MAC strobe liquid just all over the skin pretty much and then to prime the eyelids using the trusty MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with a Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm going to start on the eyes first today before I do my base and you might think this is a little bit weird but I'm going to use the post-it sticky notes and it's pretty much just to show you guys how you can get a really sort of um, sharp winged out effect with your eyeshadow by using these and it's also like if you're a beginner it's an awesome guideline for you know like eyeshadow and you'll see when I take them off it you're just left with like a really beautiful sharp finish so using the Lorac Pro 2 palette today and I'm going to start off with this um, sort of like ivory shade called buff and it's just a matte shade and it's just going to set the eyeshadow primer that we put down earlier so now I'm going to take this shade called Nectar and this is just a beautiful transition shade. It's really sort of peachy warm shade so I'm just fluffing that through the crease and next up I'm going to take the shade called Light Brown and I'm just going to lay that directly over top of that Nectar shade but really nestling it into the crease and the out of the almost like contouring the eye. To keep this look really soft and blended, I'm taking a clean brush and just really fluffing over everything to blend it out. And now I'm taking this cool grey shade on a MAC 217 and just really, this is going to apply um, the depth to the eyes. It's going to really sort of deepen up the crease. So I'm going to be using two pigments on the eyelids today and the lighter one is called Melon and the pinky one is called Rose. And I'll be applying them damp on a MAC 239 brush, starting out with rose on the outer corner of the eyelid and just really trying to pack the colour on. But also, the more that you blend the shade, the more the gold sort of is brought out in the pigment. It's quite an amazing colour. The camera isn't really picking up how amazing it looks in person, but you can sort of get the gist of how gorgeous these colours are. And now on a clean a shader brush I'm taking the shade Melon again damp and that's how you really get the intense pigment of these shades um, and just sort of blending it through the inner corner of the eyelid and meeting it with that rose shade and as you can see I've purchased the two smaller sizes of these pigments which are 15 as opposed to I think about 54 for the larger size so Totally worth just buying the smaller size and saving yourself some money. So for foundation today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte in the shade 22 Radiant Beige which is my absolute favourite. I just love the coverage and the finish of this product. It lasts all day and doesn't budge on me and even though it's a matte foundation I still find it really comfortable to wear 
and it's not too drying. It still has a little bit of natural sheen to it. I would say it's more of like a satin finish. And concealing and highlighting with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. And just buffing that out with my Real Techniques Contour Brush, which I find amazing for foundation and concealer. It's just the perfect size and shape. Lately I've really been stepping away from filling in my brows and just embracing, you know, having them on the, a little bit more of a natural side and, um, you know, if they do look a little bit patchy, so what? Like, I think, it's, I think it's just a little bit softer and, yeah, something I've been enjoying. So I'm just here taking the shade Nectar and Light Brown on a small shader brush and I'm just connecting up the lower lash line to that crease shade that we applied earlier and it's just going to really connect up the whole look and open the eyes up a little bit more. So here I'm just taking that cool grey shade on a EXO Beauty eyebrow brush and just focusing it right at the roots of the lower lash line just to give a little bit of definition. To set my under eyes I'm taking these two shades from the Kat Von D shade and light palette and just dusting off the excess on my Real Techniques setting brush. So to brighten up the eyes I'm using this NARS Larger Than Life Rue Bonaparte Nude Eyeliner. This is an amazing eyeliner, it's so pigmented and does really last on the waterline all day. It's a new one that I've been using lately and yeah, definitely have been loving it. And for mascara today I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. I, if I'm not using this one, I'm definitely using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. That's, those are pretty much probably my two favorite mascaras. Um, this one is just really lengthening and defining. But I am going to be using some lashes today. I'm going to take the Ardell Demi Wispies and just apply those. For bronzer today, I'm using my Chanel Les Beige bronzer. And I think this is actually normally a face powder. Not, it's not designed to be a bronzer, but I really like it for a bronzer because it's a perfect sort of natural warm shade. And I apply that to the cheekbones, the jawline, and the temples. And then for highlighter today, I'll be using the Benefit What's Up highlighter. And this is just a gorgeous cream champagne highlighter. And just sort of working that into the high points of my face with a Real Techniques setting brush. So I thought that the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dulcy Pink would go perfect for this look and I actually think that this blush is the perfect dupe for NARS Orgasm Blush and yeah just because it's that perfect sort of peachy pink um, shade with a gold glitter shot through it and yeah it's beautiful. So for the lips I'm first applying, I used a couple of shades from my Pro Palette um, this first shade is called Relentlessly Red and then I lay it over the top of that Max Impassioned and then in the very center of my lips I applied a little bit of Morange so yeah a little bit of a concoction for the lips but i um, really happy with how it turned out and now I'm just going a little bit overboard with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. <laughs> So that is pretty much the look all finished. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and maybe it's going to inspire you to like wear 
wear some colour. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can keep up to date with all of my videos. And if you want to follow me on all my other social media platforms, that is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I now am sort of sort of on Snapchat. Um, so I'll leave that all down below. Um, yeah, so I, ha I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you next time.